Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of lies, specifically the 16 lies we all tell each other. From little white lies to bigger deceptions, we're going to uncover why it's time to stop the cycle of dishonesty. So grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's get real about the lies we need to leave behind. Let's get started. I'm fine. It's a common response we give when we're not really fine at all. We resort to this phrase to shield ourselves from emotional vulnerability, not wanting to trouble others or because we struggle to articulate our true feelings. However, suppressing our emotions can have negative consequences. Instead, consider being open, even just a little, with someone you trust by honestly expressing when you're having a rough day. You might be amazed at how liberating it can be. I'm just so busy. It's easy to fall into the habit of using this excuse, but it can sometimes be a cover-up for not wanting to participate. Overusing it can lead to avoiding responsibilities we don't really care about. A better way to handle this situation would be to be upfront and say, that sounds great, but I have a lot on my plate right now. Can we find another time? Or honestly, I'm stretched thin at the moment. Taking ownership of your decisions may seem daunting, but it's liberating in the end. I love your new haircut, outfit, weird art project. It's important to be considerate of others' feelings, but being overly dishonest isn't beneficial. If a friend truly wants your honest opinion, provide constructive feedback or highlight a positive feature. That shade looks fantastic on you. If they're just sharing something they're passionate about, a sincere, I'm happy to see you enjoying something you love, is sufficient without pretending to be overly enthusiastic. I totally get how you feel. Empathy is truly amazing. However, claiming to completely grasp someone else's individual experience can diminish their emotions. Even if you've encountered something similar, each person handles situations in their own way. Instead, consider saying, that sounds incredibly tough. I'm here to lend an ear if you need to vent, or I can't fathom the depth of what you're facing. But I'm here to stand by you. I'll start that diet, workout plan, tomorrow. We often deceive ourselves with this falsehood, putting off tasks under the guise of good intentions. Whether it's the fear of failure, self-sabotage, or simply not being prepared for change, Pretending to start later won't bring us any closer to our goals. Be honest with yourself about the reasons for your resistance, then either take a small step forward or acknowledge that you're not quite ready and let go of the guilt. No worries. When we utter these words, it's a subtle indication that we are slightly bothered. It's a common practice to downplay our own needs in order to maintain harmony. While being accommodating is commendable, constantly disregarding our own emotions can breed resentment. It's important to find a courteous way to communicate that something is important to us, even if it seems trivial. For instance, we can say, could we give it a try this way instead, or I don't mind spending a few extra minutes doing it like this, and it will save me from a headache later on. I'm on my way. When you haven't even left the house, it's not uncommon for all of us to be running late at times, but pretending to be closer than you actually are only adds more stress in the long term. Instead of resorting to vague lies, it's better to be honest and provide a realistic estimated time of arrival. Running a bit behind schedule, I should be there in about 20 minutes. People truly value honesty much more than false hopes that only make you appear unreliable when you inevitably don't arrive on time. Exaggerations to make our stories sound better. Stories tend to grow in the telling. A fish that keeps getting bigger. A traffic jam that becomes a nightmare. We embellish to captivate, to entertain, to make the ordinary extraordinary. But where do harmless exaggerations turn into deceitful fabrications? A truly engaging tale doesn't need to be exaggerated to hold our attention. 
I'm not that into social media, reality TV, pop music. Don't be fooled by the facade of superiority. Embrace your guilty pleasures, no matter how trashy they may seem. Acting like you're too good for it only comes off as judgmental and unapproachable. Embrace what brings you simple happiness, even if it's considered lowbro. There's no shame in indulging in some light-hearted entertainment to unwind after a hectic day. Money doesn't matter. Absolutely. Without a doubt, money plays a significant role in our lives. Although it's true that money alone cannot buy happiness, it would be naive to disregard the importance of financial stability. Our relationships, life decisions, and overall well-being are all influenced by our financial situation. Sometimes, when we downplay the significance of money, it's merely a defense mechanism to mask our own insecurities about our finances. Instead of diminishing the role of money, it's crucial to be truthful about our aspiration and strive towards achieving financial security in a balanced and positive manner. I don't care what other people think. It's truly admirable to have such a mindset. However, it's important to acknowledge that denying any desire for social validation is a bit of a stretch. As social beings, it's only natural to care, even if just a little, about how others perceive us. The key lies in striking a balance, not allowing others' opinions to derail us, while also recognizing the strength of nurturing relationships and embracing our feelings without any shame. Faking expertise on a topic you know nothing about. It's quite common to feel the urge to appear knowledgeable, especially in professional or social situations. However, pretending to comprehend something instead of acknowledging your lack of understanding can have disastrous consequences. It's much wiser to admit, I'm not familiar with that. Could you enlighten me? People appreciate honesty and a genuine desire to expand one's knowledge far more than a superficial display of fake expertise. I read, watched, listened to that thing you recommended. Don't beat around the bush when it comes to sparing your friend's feelings about their book suggestion, podcast, or album. Avoid the awkwardness later by being honest up front. You can say something like, I gave it a shot, but it didn't really resonate with me or I haven't had a chance to dive into it yet, but it's definitely on my radar. Being truthful allows them to recommend something that aligns better with your taste. I never gossip. Let's be real. We all spill the beans every now and then. Claiming that you never engage in gossip is just plain hypocritical and gives off a judgmental vibe towards those who admit to enjoying a harmless chit-chat. It's important to distinguish between hurtful rumors and casual have-you-heard conversations. Embracing the fact that you sometimes like to share a juicy tidbit is much more relatable than pretending to be too good for it all. I didn't see your message. It's okay to take some time to respond, but using excuses all the time can make you appear unreliable. Just be honest and say you needed some time to think about your response. It's better to own up to procrastination than to constantly dodge the conversation. Of course, I remember you when you absolutely don't. Uncomfortable social encounters may call for a little white lie. Rather than pretending to remember everything, opt for a graceful escape. It's wonderful to see you. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Much smoother than being caught feigning familiarity with someone you can't quite place. And that's a wrap, folks. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Ring the bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. Got any thoughts or questions? Drop me a comment below. We love hearing from you. Check out my other videos for more great content. And remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Take care and keep shining. Hold on a sec. I am not finished yet. Follow me on social media Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, obviously. Do it now. Come on, do it. Thank you for watching. And a huge shout out to our subscribers and Patreon supporters for making this possible. You're the real MVPs. Signing off, peace out.